Creek. Uh, this is a quick tip Glenn and I are going to throw at you. Okay, you're going to make a bolt-on neck. I generally do dovetails, not that I'm trying to be a snob or anything. But number one is which insert is the best one to use. These are the ones that I use. It's the exact same that Martin uses. It requires a 5 16th inch hole. Now, for those of you that have put these in already, you probably discovered that, damn, when I use a regular drill bit, they blow out the tenon. You have all kinds of trouble. This is called a step drill. Now, I can tell you right now, if you have a hole that you want to drill with as minimum amount of tear out, here's where you want to go. So, you're going to use this, run in the quarter, start into here, and just hit the 5 16th mark. That's the, th uh, the third step. Once you get it started, then you can go get your regular drill bit and run it in. Um, you can also use a Forstner bit. They're also pretty good. I also use these for when I install pickups. So if I'm going to install a pickup and I'm going into the tail block, I've learned that running a big drill bit in there usually tears the heck out of the uh, tail block. Also, I bet you a lot of you, you, when you do them, you probably drill a half inch hole, which is not what you want. You want a 15 30 seconds drill bit. Now this will go up to a half of an inch. So what I generally do is I'll run into my tail block, bump, 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 and then this is half inch, the last part. So I'll just go in a little bit on the half inch, then I grab my 15 30 second and I run that through. Uh, what will happen is the uh, jack that you get is 15 30 seconds. It's going to fit in there and you might want to kind of dry fit it and ream it a little bit, but that will fit in there nice and snug because these things, the jacks will get loose just by plugging and unplugging your quarter inch uh, cord. So having that hole just a little bit snug will make that fit tight and permanent. You won't be worried about getting loose and having to worry about things coming apart. So that's a quick tip for me to you also. One last thing, see that slot? That's not for a screwdriver. That goes in first. You want to put this in with a quarter inch shoulder bolt, run that in, kind of turn it sideways, go counterclockwise, that will free and it'll come out and that will stick in there perfectly. Uh, and it doesn't hurt if you want to put a little bit of tight bond in there to run it in. That helps to keep things from tearing out. Also will f act as a filler, not so much as an adhesive. And that is what I can tell you what I use when I use these. So again, thank you very much. Appreciate your support. Thank you.